Hey guys, this is how I got banned on Reddit Destiny the Game. On Thursday, somebody posted proof that Sneaky Beaver, also known as Register Vex Offender on Reddit, was guilty of network manipulation. This was brought on by his Twitter post claiming that he was finally done with his Iron Burden kills and that it was such a grind. That is to say, he got 2,500 kills in Iron Banner while 100 power under recommended in a short period of time. A user looked up his game history and noticed that there was a game he got 129 kills and no deaths. Along with other games he got no kills, clearly a product of kill trading. This has been a known method to cheese comp and get not forgotten without having to play against real people. All it takes is some network manipulation and two teams of dedicated guardians willing to cooperate. Network manipulation to this degree has been grounds for account bans. Shortly after he was called out, his entire match history was made private, and his original tweet was removed. I saw this on Reddit and I was shocked. Sneaky Beaver has personally attacked me in the past. There were multiple occasions where he took the time to be condescending in my Reddit posts about how people who use cheeses are bad at the game and just want the rewards. He got Movie of the Week just last week from Bungie and plays with well-known players occasionally, such as Datto. And now to find that someone who strongly advocates against exploits is exploiting Destiny in a manner that is against Terms of Service. I'm not saying that I'm better than him as a player, but for someone who has belittled me over exploits to seem better than average players, to do something like complain about how hard it was to cheat in the Crucible is unacceptable. I'm upset about that. So I commented saying, that's hilarious from a guy who refuses to cheese anything and talks down to them. A Redditor contacted me wanting proof of my claim, so I sent him the comment that Sneaky Beaver made on a post that I had a year ago. It says, calls this place a cesspool, calls cheeses good content. You're one of those players that are just terrible at the game and want to exploit it for rewards, aren't you? This was the second time that he had made negative comments on one of my posts. I believe the first was removed, and there's at least one other. After this, the original poster and I was banned from Reddit Destiny the Game for 30 days. Maybe even poor Kyle, who only quoted the tweets so that users who are at work could read what was going on. Some background info, Kyle is an active member of the subreddit who puts videos, tweets, and other medias from external sources, usually blocked by businesses, into easily accessible animated images and text so that Destiny players can read while at work or to save on your mobile data. He's a very well-respected member of that community, even receiving special awards. Using a Reddit undeleting service, I was able to screenshot the actual content after it was removed by the moderators of RDTG. Those links are in the description if you want to read them. Why is this a big deal? Personally quoting a comment that Sneaky Beaver addressed to myself is not witch hunting, the reason I was supposedly banned. There was no need to add further information and or identifying information as what I am charged with. So what's the actual rule look like? Personal information is prohibited, no gamer tags or stats. Did I do that? No. No external information was added to the subreddit. So obviously I was banned for no reason other than quoting a comment that he made last year to prove my case. Reddit Destiny the Game is covering it up. I think overall this is a good thing for a subreddit to do. The post was very personal, and if I was being personally attacked, I would want that post removed as well. So I'm not mad at all. The real problem is that this behavior is what's considered acceptable to Bungie, streamers, and YouTubers. Sneaky Beaver is a prime example of what's wrong with top-tier Destiny players. Look over his social media, Reddit, YouTube, Twitter, he brags. Three years ago, I was one of the first people to solo Oryx. Literally, no bragging rights there. Two-man insurrection kill with Datto, using quote-unquote no exploits. You can see a real trend, too. He uses the term no exploits way too often. Just so people know, he doesn't use exploits. He's not that kind of guy. We kind of became rivals when high score nightfalls were a thing. That's when I made boss cheese spots so that the strike could be completed, no matter how much time it took to complete the strike, allowing you to get really high scores. Back then, if everyone died, you were kicked to orbit as a standard modifier. And that's when he made the salty comment I posted. 
He used to post his high score nightfall strategies the day after the nightfall was over. This ensured that no one could copy his strategy for that week. And that way he could be featured in this week at Bungie for having a top high score. And there were many weeks that he did, in fact, have top high scores before Bungie stopped caring about leaderboards and such. When Triumph score came out, though, Sneaky Beaver got really competitive. You can see him complaining about 50 Triumph score. This is from a bug that's present for some players. As a completionist on world leaderboards on LightGG, he is ranked number 13 in the world. And that obviously wasn't earned legitimately. Some Reddit users are salty about it as much as I am. Light.gg denounced the number one spot on their leaderboards a couple months ago after someone bragged about getting every possible point available on the leaderboard. He made a Reddit post, but upon investigation there were large discrepancies in his competitive ability. Going from a low KD to a high KD with players that he had never even played before as a 6 stack. Clearly there were people playing on his account for him. So he was banned from Light.gg leaderboards. Not banned from Destiny that I know of. If you pay for a service like that, you do you. I think recovery services are a necessary evil in the gaming business. They've been around for many years, even people selling their entire account. Some people have time and some people have money. I actually know a few people that provide services for money. In the end, both the account owner and the person helping are happy. But if you do use a service, don't brag about your account. Obviously, my channel is about the rewards, not the way to obtain them, to cheese channel. But using exploits does not make you bad at the game. Glad is a prime example of someone who's a good player and uses exploits to have fun. I think Sneaky Beaver is a good player, but obviously he's broken some kind of Destiny Terms of Service for the sake of saving time. In player behavior that can lead to account bans or restrictions on Bungie.net, we find an interesting statement modification, or interruption of Destiny network traffic with the intent to disrupt the experience of other players or gain an advantage in the game can lead to a ban. Matching the same teams 30 times in a row to kill farm and get rare triumphs like 50 kill streaks is modifying network traffic to gain an advantage. I bet that's how he got his not forgotten. Another interesting note is what Bungie says about general exploits. Bungie does not punish players for playing the game. Many exploits have went by and no bans have been issued. Bungie feels responsible for the exploits that are found in their game. They don't blame the players. But there are circumstances beyond their control. Things like network manipulation through external programs and hardware. I'm not saying that all players that do something like this should be banned either. Trading kills is a much nicer way to exploit the game than to disconnect other players from the opposing team. DDoS is just malicious. Sure, it's frustrating for players who have earned their rewards legitimately. I mean, PvP is an area that I'm personally bad at. But respectable members of the gaming community should never brag about accomplishments that they did not truly earn. And I don't think I deserved a ban for offering my personal experience in the matter. Cheese forever, Guardian.